back to our channel. So today we have this water activated Zuru Romo fish to show you. That Zuru sent us. So this is really cool guys, we've got an exclusive pink colour changing fish which dives to 6 feet and it can swim in 5 different directions which also includes some surprise never wet sand and we've actually never had any never wet sand so we're very excited to see what that's like and before we open it, on the back it, you can see all of like the other fish you can collect So let's look inside I got a fish so we've just opened it and we're actually really impressed because there's very little plastic except for the bit the fish comes in and this little corner here but everything else is like cardboard and completely recyclable. So inside you get this really nice big bowl with a max water level like little sign that tells you how much water to put in. And it's a really lovely size for the little fish and you can add more fish as well. So here's the fish in detail. We're going to be really interested to see which colour actually changes on this fish. But there's loads of lovely detail like on the scales. And you can see like the little pupil in his eye. And also the fin is like a really nice soft rubber. So you can like tell this is the bit that's going to move. It's nice and squishy. And to turn it on, there's no like on button. I don't know if you, when you put it in the water, I think it automatically starts. But if you just sort of put your fingers here, it swims. And then, and then he stops when you take it, your fingers off. <laughs> I um, just realised that he actually he stands up on land because he's got these oh, where wow. he's got these <laughs> supportive like fins. So if you collected quite a few of them, you could put them all like on a nice little line on your shelf. So it also comes with this really cute little paper instruction leaflet, which tells you how to play, how to like fill up your sand and what to do with your sand, and also replace seeing your batteries. But there's batteries. We forgot to say there's obviously batteries inside because it's already swimming away. <laughs> <laughs> and you also get another image of all the fish you can collect. And you also get this squishy bottle to put your sand in. The water. Unscrew that. Oh, the sand's nice and yellow. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. sorry, Aaron. <gasps> Ooh. Whee. Some of it's going. I'm trying not to get it everywhere. Is it going to fill it all the way up? Oh, it sort of half fills it. So there's enough sand to half fill, well, three quarters fill this bottle up. Okay, so I'm going to put it in. I'm so excited to see what this does. Makes bubbles. Ew. Ooh. I can't hang on. Wait, squidge it. Squidge it like... Ooh! <gasps> this is so weird. Oh, what? That's that so is... satisfying! This is weird. Wait, like, make some dunes or something for the fish to swim in it. Yeah, that I'm trying. It looks like it's gone all shiny because of all the water. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you can towel. mould it. You can, like, do things with it. I'm gonna try and make, make some reefs or something. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, it's staying. My little, my little tunes. It's all staying like up and stuff. That's so cool. <gasps> Look how tall that one is. Oh. No! Oh, that's actually really fun. I'm gonna try. Right, you're putting it all on the surface. I know, I'm trying. I'm trying to make, make some more coral reefs. Things. Tall one. Look how cool that looks. Oh, stop putting God. it in and out because it's going on the surface. <gasps> Oh no! We can have a go. I really want to squidge it. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna squidge this in. Make some more coral reefs. Eee! This is so weird. Look at all the bubbles. <gasps> I love this stuff. I did not think it was gonna do this. I thought it was gonna oh, just sink so to the weird. bottom. Oh, that's so weird. I just looked at it from the camera's perspective, and it looks so cool. Oh, no, this is so weird because I thought it was just gonna be like on the bottom. <gasps> that's so fun. I want to put our little fishy in so you can swim in and out of them. Swim in the coral reefs that are all falling down. It's fishy time! Here he goes! In you ready? <gasps> He's swimming! That's so cute! Oh, He's going yes. oh, go to your coral He's going around the Go board. to your friends. Go your friends. Oh, look at his little tail go! <laughs> so cute. Look at his little tail going. I want him to go through the coral reefs. Go down there. Fed up. He's like, no, I don't like them. He's swimming away from them. So we put our fish in the tank that came in it, and he swam around, which is really cute. But it wasn't. It was definitely not six feet, and he can actually dive to six feet. So we found this taller bars, and we're going to see if, if he can swim. <laughs> ah! He went straight to the bottom. Swim, little fishy. We need a name for him. I want to call him Grape. We're calling him Grape. We're calling him Grape. He's kind of purple. Trying to look at the colour change. So we think. That the pink, like his pink body, not the actual plasticky purple. Right, I don't Wait, think. is it the plasticky purple? <laughs> he's gone like sort of like a dark, he's gone like a more like lighter pink, and his white's gone a bit creamy. 
spot. We're gonna put you back in. Yeah. He's so cute. He's making little bubbles. <laughs> there he goes. Come on, great swim. I'm just gonna back up. <laughs> Follow my finger. Follow my finger. <laughs> So we're now going to talk about the sand for a bit because it is actually so cool. Like it looks like it's silver. It's got like little air bubbles that are trapping it all like together underneath the water. And when you actually try and pick it up, so if you like move the floating bits and uh, try and pick it up, it sort of feels a bit like kinetic sand and it's like so cool in the water and you can like mould it and things. And then if you pick it up, it's so weird. <laughs> so you pick it up and it's like all, you know, kinetic sandy and then it's just... Ah! Oh, it's just so cool. It's so weird. It just turns back into the little flakes. Put it back under. It's gone back to this like gold colour. Gold. Silver. It's a silvery gold colour. And you take it out and wee! It's so cool. And if you've got bits floating on the surface like this, you can sort of try and get them. Try and get it. And then you can place them on the bottom and they stay there. <laughs> I love picking it up. It's so weird. Okay guys, so what do we think? So our little robo friend here, he works really well when he's swimming in the tank that comes with it. He swims up and he goes around and he goes down. He sort of has like a cycli cyclical, cyclical, cycle. cyclical activity. So he sort of, he'll go, he'll dive down and then he'll swim around the bottom for a little bit. And then he'll come back up, swim a bit slowly, go back down, swim around like an actual fish would, you know, go in circles. And I also forgot to mention that after four minutes, he'll just automatically turn himself off. You can't really see how far he can go in the bowl that comes with the set. So as in down, as in depth, like yeah. you can see him swim around. So we put him in our taller bars, and that works well, but we also found that it restricts. He's like, because he doesn't have very fast, like, go around, it restricts his swimming distance. Yeah, he sort of goes a bit slower. So we reckon that if you put him in your bar, he would swim around. around. It would be amazing. We really like the additional uh, never wet sand that you get in it. It doesn't actually look like that much. Like the bag, I thought it was a very small amount. But if you look at it like, like if you're sitting at your desk and you looked at it this way, it, it actually, actually looks actually get quite it. a lot. And it's fun that you can like, I thought it would just sort of sit at the bottom of the tank. But yeah. when you're putting it in, you can make like coral reefs and like, like little landscapes for the fish to swim through. However, the water will eventually like go off and like bacteria will collect in it. You, so need, you need to change do, it. You need to change it. So we reckon that you should get like a tea strainer and sort of try and strain the sand out because then like obviously the sand will collapse but all of the water will come out and you can just put the sand somewhere else where you change the water. So the colour change of the fish was a little bit disappointing but if it, like one side works better with the fish but if I put it down like see it's sort of white the fish and then I don't know if the camera will pick it up but it, oh, ah! but it goes sort of, he goes, he goes sort of yellow. Turn him around. He does go sort of yellowy, the white bit. We were finding that with the tap water, he wasn't actually changing colour. But if you get some ice, so like really cold, if I put that, I hold it on him. He does actually go like yellow, if you can see that there. So he changes from white to yellow. And like orangey, if you really hold it. So that's quite good, because you can actually see the colour change. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up. But he is going, which <laughs> he is going yellow. So if you notice that your fishy isn't colour changing, add some ice to your tank. Because he likes the cold. He's an arctic fish. He's not an arctic a fish. mediterranean fish. We absolutely love your unboxing our little fishy. And we're definitely going to be getting some more. So keep an eye on, 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 our, on our Instagram channel. Because we are going to give this glacial fish some more little arctic friends. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed watching this little fish swim around in his tank. And yeah. we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, dive back in, Mr. Grape. Let's go, Grapey. Ah! Swim! We need to make your core reefs again.